Johann Niemann was born on August 4, 1913, in Westover Ledingen, in the northwest of the German Empire. He joined the Nazi Party in 1931, as member number 753836, and the SS in 1934, as member number 270600. He first served at the Bells at Extermination Camp, where he commanded Camp 2. The extermination area, Niemann then transferred to the Sobibor extermination camp, in, eastern Poland, he was the deputy commander of Sobibor on various occasions throughout 1942, before being given the job permanently in early 1943. After Heinrich Himmler's visit to the camp on February 12, 1943, Niemann was promoted to SS Untersturmführer, an SS non-commissioned officer named Karl Frenzel, also a commandant at Sobibor, recalled how Niemann handled a threat of prisoner revolt within the camp. He said, a Polish capo told me that some Dutch Jews were organizing an escape, so I relayed it to Deputy Commandant Niemar. He ordered the 72 Jews to be executed. On October 14, 1943, a prisoner uprising took place at the camp. Niemann was the highest ranking SS officer who on duty that day, and so he was the first person to be assassinated by the prisoners. During an appointment to be fitted for a leather jacket taken from a murdered Jew, Johann Niemann was killed with an axe to the head, in the tailor's barracks by a Jewish Red Army soldier named Alexander Shubayev. He was 30 years old.